the alternate pick, basically what you're trying to do are a couple of things. First of all, you're trying to make the down and the up sound similar to each other. So when you're playing, you're trying to focus on the attack of both the down and the up so they have a similar sound. So it doesn't sound like your down pick is so much different than your up stroke, for instance. The second part of that is, is be careful not to turn the pick way too much. I see a lot of players when they play, you know, you'll kind of see how my car is at an angle already. If I was to turn the pick even more, problem is, is I lose the definition of what the pick is really trying to do against the string, which is, of course, make it vibrate, but I'm also adding a bit of a percussive effect by picking it through that string. If I turn the string, the pick sideways, excuse me, I might be able to go really fast, but all, all, all the listener is going to hear are these swishing sounds. And again, I always try and teach people it's always better to go at a slower pace, do it honestly, than it is to just fake your way through something and pretend like you're doing something that you're not.